friends, welcome back to my channel, Southern Yankee. Um, I wanted to do my trend mood box for you. Um, this is not a monthly subscription, but a box does come out every month. It is, you have to get on the waiting list, and I got the first one, I missed out on the second, third one, and I was able to snag the fourth one. Literally, when it launches, you gotta get on there within minutes or you don't get it. It's like a first come, first serve type of a box. And if you don't follow Trend Mood on Instagram, I will link that below for you, but follow Trend Mood and then follow Trend Mood Box because she unveils like what's gonna be in the next box. She was, she's a um, YouTuber that used to just put, she still does on the regular Trend Mood, all of the upcoming new makeup that's being released so you can kind of see what's coming. And then she started working with brands and the box got created just a few months ago. I loved my first box, I'm still using it, so I'm really, really excited to have this. So on my face today, I just have my base foundation, um, a little lip gloss, I have a little bit of liner on my eyes down here, nothing on my eyes other than primer. Um, I do have a little, it's kind of washed out, you can't even see it, but I do have a little bit of blush on, and that is it. So, um, because I do know some of the items in here, and we're gonna play with them and try one of them out. So, this box was between 44 and 55 bucks, I can't remember. There are different prices when they do launch, so you have to make the decision if you wanna get it or not. Um, you will know what's in the box ahead of time, because they post that, so that's really cool. So you can decide if that box is worth it to you. Financially, I felt like it was worth it. When you open the box, it looks like this, and it says Trend Mood right here. And then when you open this, I did get in here, but I haven't opened anything yet. You get, um, it's wrapped up, and you get all your goodies. And I got a little troll, <laughs> which you'll see why in a minute, because um, we got some items. So, all right, so let's start. So the first item in here is the uh, First Aid Beauty. I really like First Aid Beauty's brand. This is a weightless liquid mineral sunscreen with zinc oxide. I think that you can wear this underneath your makeup. And this is an oil-free, non-comedogenic, safe for sensitive skin. I don't know what the value is of these things. I'll try to link everything, and if this is out already, I'll link it for you, but um, it's a 30 SPF, so that's pretty good. It's a nice little size. It'd be great for your face if it works well for, for that. So that's the first item. Then we got a couple things from Bite Beauty. This is the Agave Intensive Lip Mask with Mangosteen Extract. I, this says it does not have lan lanolin, so mine's the Agave. I think there were two different kinds that you could get. Let me see if I could. Because there were some papers that came with these things. Yeah, so... Uh, also available in the shade Buzzed, but we got this. We got the shade Agave. So let's look at that. We'll put some of this. We'll open this and put this on on our lips. This is supposed to be a super like intense, intense lip mask. There's what it looks like, and it says dry, cracked lips, hard pass. The lanolin free intensive does it all. Um, it's our most intensive lip treatment for deep hydration and extensive re extreme recovery and deep hydration. Okay, supercharged with superfoods, mangosteen and acai for antioxidant rich care. It creates a nourishing cocoon of hydration you can feel. Apply before bed, wake up with soft, smooth lips. So it sounds like it's actually a nighttime treatment. So maybe I'll wait and try that. There's a couple items we're not going to be trying today. Really going to be trying the makeup items. This I will try. Um, this is also by Bite Beauty. This is the Lip and Define Lip Primer. I'm really hoping this, this works because I have, you can see them kind of here and here. I have little cracks just from getting older. And this I think is supposed to stop feathering and fading. This is, okay, the agave thing is $26. Um, this is $22, this just happens to be on here. It says feathering and fading, not here. This multitasking clean lip primer powered by superfoods, kiwi seed oil, and jackfruit extract keeps your lips color ready. Color ready. Here's how to prep your lips for bold matte color. Align your lips to create an invisible barrier that keeps lip color in place. Swipe on lips completely to create a smooth base for lip color and improve extended wear, and then you would put your lip color over it. So this is just like a white. I've seen these before, and I think these do help. I don't know if they like help completely, but it comes just like this, and then 
here it is and you just basically line your lips before you put your lipstick on and it's supposed to help keep um, your lips lined and li keep your lipstick where it's supposed to be so we'll try that all right the next thing in here those three items is this by Cora Organics um, and we got some information on this too this is Noni Night AHA resurfacing serum I want to say this is AHA's and BHA's yeah, a powerful certified organic night treatment serum uses AHAs and BHAs and ferments to help resurface your skin and reduce appearance of pores, leaving you with smoother complexion. So it looks like you use this in the evening as well. And this is a brand new launch. I don't know if it's available. It says we're one of the first to receive it, so it may not have launched yet. Um, and you should... Uh, okay, she says she's been using it for six months and have noticed a dramatic difference in her skin. It's helped with fine lines and wrinkles, minimize the appearance of pores, and improve my pigmentation. My skin has never looked better. I use it every night after I've cleaned my face and before I apply my moisturizer and face oil. If you love it as much as I do, I would mean so much to me if you shared your photos and videos using the serum on social media. Oh, that's very cool. We'll do that. Um, this is it says glow to hashtag glow to sleep. So I've never heard of Cora Organics. It's beautiful packaging with a light lilac and all your little superfoods and fruits down there. And here's what the packaging looks like. I'll just put a little pump on my hand here. There we go. So it's like, it's definitely like a, a thick little serum and then you just rub it in your skin. It feels nice. It feels nice, so I'm excited to use that. And it says before you use oils and moisturizer on your skin. So it's got a very like organic herbally type of a scent to it as well. So I'm excited to try that and add that to my nighttime routine and see what we think. Um, do we have a price on this? No, I don't know how much this is, but it does say 91% notice pores are smaller, 91% notice the appearance of dark spots or hyperpigmentation were minimized, and 91% notice overall skin was more youthful. And that was based on a study of 53 consumers ages 25 to 55 using Noni Night nightly over a four week period. So they conducted a little study. So that's cool. All right, so then we got a palette in the mail drama queen i believe it's called oops okay yeah drama queen the unboring highlight palette by kim chi chic here it is what it, here's what it looks like in before i opened it and then on the back it has your colors that we're gonna see in here it says glow and shine this retails for 18 dollars um and Highlighters that leave you shining like your future. I've got every color for your everyday needs, whether you want to go subtle or colorful. Use on your cheeks, brow bones, collarbones, shoulders, the bridge of your nose, or any place you desire. Wear alone or with blush or bronzer like the queen you are. And there's the uh, thing. So, all right. So let's take a look at this. I like that it's sort of like a body highlight that you can wear anywhere for the summer. That'll be perfect if you want to put like a little on your collarbone and stuff. Um, we'll see what, I'm not sure what color we'll use, but I'll, I'll get these swatched for you too. I could probably swatch them now. But, oh yeah, here they go. Six really beautiful colors. One could probably be like a little bronze or sun-kissed. Like these two can, this one especially can probably be used as like a bronze topper if you don't, if you want to just bronze up and then put a little bit of dusting of that without any blush. I think that'd be pretty. But let's go ahead and swatch these. So... I'm gonna start here and down. We'll do the three uh, the three neutral shades and then we'll do the three color shades. The first color is Spread Like Butter. Here it is on the finger. I don't know how, how well the highlights are gonna show up. Okay, next one is Smooth as Silk. This is like the champagne white shade. Let me see here. I can't do swatches really well here. That's, that's really hard to see, but I think that's actually gonna be really beautiful. And then this next one is Cinnamon Glaze. So that one's a much darker shade. There we go, there's the three kind of highlight shades. 
kind of see when I turn my wrists like this, you can see the colors a little better. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the three colorful shades. The first one is yellow, it's called Golden Queen. That's really dark. That's gonna be too dark for me. There it is. And the next one is Flushed Doll. This is the pink one. That's pretty, maybe a blush for me. And the next one is Green with Envy. We'll use that pink one kind of as a blush and then we'll put one of the lighter colors over it. So this is the Green with Envy one. I don't know what I would use that one for. I would never put that as a highlight, but I might put that on my eyes. It's a pretty aqua color. So there's your, your highlight. So that'll be fun to play with. And then last but not least, and this is what we're gonna play with today, we got three palettes from Trolls and Pure. Um, this one is Funk, the purple one, Class, Classical, and the blue one is called Techno. So let me open these and show them to you. We're only gonna obviously play with one of them today, but we'll get in here and see what they're like. Maybe. They're in there, they do not wanna come out. There we go. So this one is Techno. Here is the outside packaging. So cute. And here are the inside colors. And I like that they're not all blue. I like that you have like that bronzy gold, a nice deep dark brown. You've got a green shade in there. And then you've got th two kind of different aqua blue. Like looks like one's a matte and one's a shimmer. And then you've got that beautiful kind of duochrome shade in the middle. Really pretty, all right? Um, that one is not really gonna match what we're doing today. I don't know what will, we'll see if any of these will, but we'll make a look regardless. The next one is Classical. Let me get it open. Even the inside of the carton, the Unicarton, it has, um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a lot of detail on it too. That's fun. Okay, so let's see what colors we have in this one. Oh yeah, this is a beautiful neutral palette. Ooh, I like this one. Look at this. So here you have your dark brown shade again. You have a lighter crease and matte and highlight. You've got a transition, you're darker, and then you've got two different types of metals there. And then you've got this like liquid metal gold champagne color on the top. These are really pretty. So we may use that. That was classical. And then the final one, I was wondering if these are gonna be like more mauve because if they are, I'll use this one. This one is called Funk. And it's being funky, didn't wanna come out. There we go. And again, you can see the packaging is all funky. It sort of has like these nice metallic little palettes. I'm actually excited to try these out. I like pure shadows. I've had a lot of pure shadows, I do like them. So here it is. So I don't know if these are purple or what colors they are. Yeah, kind of purples, but also a nice burgundy in here. I think we can use this one today. This is gorgeous. And you've got the same sort of format set up. In here, you've got one matte. That one looks like a satin. Well, three mattes. These are your two shimmers and then this one. So those are, that's what we'll try to play with today. Yeah, I think that'll work okay. All right, and guys, that is it. That's all of the items in this month's trend mood. Um, so I'm gonna do a little quick look with this. I'll be right back. Okay, first I'm gonna go in lightly with the color um, Flush Doll, this pink kind of as a blush topper and see what that does as far as like a highlight. Definitely very, 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 very pigmented. I'm gonna blend that in a little bit. And it does give a nice little sheen to the skin, but it's just subtle. It's not, it's not a crazy sheen. 
just a little bit, which I like that it's not insane. It does seem to want to stay where you put it though. So just be careful with that. Really blushy cheeks. All right, so I'm gonna take a highlighter and I'm gonna use the color right here, the champagne color, which is called Spread Like Butter on the cheeks. Let's see how this does. Very pretty. And put that on the nose. There we go. That's really, really quite beautiful. I mean, I, you can see my texture, but I got texture, so. There's that. Now we'll get into our little troll guy. All right, we're gonna start off. It doesn't look like we have shade. Oh, we do on the back, okay. So the first shade we're gonna use is called Cooper. Cooper? Oh, I think that's right. I think this is Cooper right here, this shade. So we're gonna just sort of put that in the all over the lid as a nice little transition shade. And well, it's got some color to it for sure. It's got like a nice purple. I, it's actually more pigmented than I was realizing. So we're gonna use that as our transition shade. It's a really pretty mauve tone. It does look darker on the eye than here it is on the pan right here and there it is on the eye. So it's a little darker on the eye. Shows up quite a bit more than what I was expecting. Oh, I got a foundation line or concealer line there. Really beautiful payoff on color here. I really like this color. I could use this just this and some mascara and you could kind of be done, you know? But it blends really well. I really, really like this color. It's a beautiful shade. Maybe we'll use the um, highlight up at the top here a little bit. One of the highlight shades, maybe the really, the lighter highlight shade. Oh, there is a highlight shade in here too, so we'll see. All right, I am gonna go in with the dark purple in the outer corner a little bit. That shade is called Prince D. Purples are hard, so hopefully this doesn't ruin my whole look. But I just wanna deepen the outer corner up and come in just a tiny bit with that. Well, that's pretty too, that's that did a really, really nice job of deepening that shade up, that corner up. It was coming up a little bit up here and just sort of blending, no additional product, just sort of blending that in. But what I did with that is I started here and just sort of put the color down and then I blended from there and moved it in. So just sort of lay the color down where you want first and then work from there. usually wear purples I usually wear pinks so this is kind of a fun kind of a fun look for me I'm gonna keep that dark I 
And I'm actually gonna go in with the same, the shade we started with and just sort of blend out the top a little bit and soften that gradient up again. Right here. Sorry, we're shaking, that was gizzy. Oh, I really, really, really like that. And I'm gonna just go over, over this part again. I like just that, I like just those two colors. All right, so I'm gonna go on the bottom with that dark shade on the outer corner of the eyes, the same dark shade we used up top, but we're just gonna go about halfway. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Yeah, that's coming together nicely, okay. So I think I'm gonna take the lighter purple in here or should I do this pretty plum? We're gonna do this pretty plum color on the outside edge. I'm gonna use my finger actually. Ooh, this is pigmented battery. I tried to tap my finger off, that doesn't work. All right, we're gonna come in here and we're gonna, whoa, okay. What? We're gonna have a smoky eye today. I probably have enough on this finger to do this eye too. Yep, this packs a punch. This little guy. Whoa. All right. So now I'm going to go in with that really beautiful um, kind of like light shade up here. And we're going to put that down here. And blend that up into that dark shade. Oh. Gosh, that's pretty. Let me bring you guys in. Whoa, so close. But isn't that pretty? It's got such, such good sparkle. So beautiful. And I love that you can use this shade as sort of a topper or it's just gorgeous by itself too. Really, really, be <clears throat> really beautiful. All right, I'm gonna just darken up those outer corners back up just a little bit again. We're just gonna have a smoky, smoky eye today. Okay, now I'm gonna take my little brush I'm gonna go in with this lighter purple that we hadn't used on the other inner half. This should brighten up a little bit. Oh yeah. Beautiful, beautiful shade. Look at that. Gorgeous, okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm gonna use the Drama Queen. I'm gonna clean this little same brush off. And I'm gonna use the lightest shade in here, this one here. This is called oh, Smooth is Silk, and we'll use that on the inner corner. I'm just gonna pop the rest of that right up in there. Pull it down a little bit, just like that. We'll do the same thing up here. Okay, I'm gonna take no additional product and we're just gonna blend it, all of it together. So we don't have any harsh lines. There. Okay, we're gonna use the Bite Beauty 
and uh, we're gonna line our lips with this. Oh, this smells like peppermint. I feel like I need a mirror. I can't feel what I'm doing. I don't know if this is doing anything. We'll find out. It feels really good. Use my liner by Gerard Cosmetics and line our lips. Now, I'm going to use this little sample I got from Ofra from the Ofra Collab Liquid Lip in the color Unzipped. And we've got to put lashes and liner and all that fun stuff on. All right. Now we'll see if they don't bleed. All right, I'll be right back with liner and lashes. All right, here is the finished look, obviously in a, a very, very smoky eye, but very beautiful. Um, not my normal look, but I loved how the shadows performed. I really, really like it. So far, it seems like the lipstick is staying in place and all is well. I like everything. So, and the highlight is really, really pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll put all the information for Trend Mood, the Instagram accounts down below, as well as any items if they are currently available, if you want to pick them up. You guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.